What's going on, Vinyl Community? Welcome to another video with the Record Spinner. As you can see behind me, the Christmas tree is lit, and that is because in today's video, I'm going to be doing a vinyl haul showcasing all of the records that I got this year for Christmas in 2019. I hope everyone had a fantastic uh, Christmas holiday uh, this year. Hope you guys spent it well with all your friends, family, and loved ones. Uh, I gotta say, this was perhaps one of the most enjoyable Christmases that you know I have witnessed in recent years. Um, the work retail season was quite intense for me this year, and um, it's kind of tough to retain a little bit of holiday spirit. I will admit, when you're at a register for six hours on end, day by day, but uh, just being with family and getting into the real reason of the season and just feeling that holiday joy just really makes it worthwhile at the very end of it all. Um, and this year, I gotta say, Santa treated me quite well in terms of music-related stuff outside of vinyl. Um, right off the bat, we got some great new books to add to the music book library. We have the Kiss 1977 to 1980 uh, photo book from Lynn Goldsmith. We have a uh, Hugh uh, Felder's Pink Floyd's Behind the Wall, and the updated version of um, The Complete Pink Floyd by Glenn Povey, which has some uh, tape logs from Abbey Road um, reinstated, which is quite cool. And I kind of forgot about this one. This was a real surprise. This is uh, one of the King Crimson box sets. This one is called Heaven and Earth. Uh, this kind of covers the sort of construction of light, the projects, power to believe, and all of the life stuff that was going on at the time up until... This, was, this covers 97 to 2008, and this is going to be an intense period of listening. Uh, I thought there was so much content on the other box sets. This one has so much more, especially on the Blu-rays. But in terms of vinyl, we have some fantastic stuff to get through. So enough of the chit-chat. Let's jump into what this video is all about. First up is... The Dukes of Stratosphere, or XTC, depending on how you look at it. So XTC, back when they were doing their whole, you know, sort of 80s, you know, regular stuff as a band, uh, they started, well, not essentially started, but they branched out into this sort of side project, which was a long-lost 60s kind of psychedelic rock band called The Dukes of Stratosphere. And they did two releases. There was the EP 25 O'Clock, and this is the full-length album, which is called sonic sunspot all spelled with a p and honestly you take all of the late 60s rock like psychedelic rock cliches whether it's from the beatles or you know the floyd or the beach boys you put it in a melting pot and that is exactly the sound that you get from this so it just makes you smile when you listen to this record and um this is a recent 200 gram a uh, reissue and um it's absolutely gorgeous with the artwork this is amazing stuff. Um, a fellow viewer had actually sent me um, a CD of this band's material, and then I was just actually listening to it with the keyboard player of the uh, Genesis show, which is a Genesis tribute band that I work for, and it kind of really caught my ear, and I was digging it. I'm like, wait a sec. I feel like I may have heard this before. And um, and so I had to seek out the records, and you bet I am going to be picking up the 25 O'Clock EP. So I am going to be having such a blast listening to this album. And up next is a record that, believe it or not, I have never owned a copy in my collection. And this is hands down one of those albums that everybody has. And I feel like it's shameful of me in the vinyl community to not have this record. You guys ready? You guys are going to be shocked. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. I am going to be honest. I like Fleetwood Mac. I know the hits. Am I crazy about them? Not really, but I figured, you know what? It's worth having. It's full of hits. That's that's the thing with this record. It is chocked full of classics that I've listened to on classic rock radio and I still hear everywhere to this day. Uh, I get things like Dreams, Don't Stop, Go Your Own Way, The Chain, Gold Dust Woman. I mean, it's absolute fantastic stuff. Nice artwork, and we also get a really cool insert which on the outside is a really cool uh, photo collage. And then on the inside, we have a nice band portrait with the lyrics as well. And this comes on that uh, kind of palm tree Warner Brothers reprise label. And um, it's in a paper sleeve, so I'm not going to take it out. But when I looked in the dead wax, this pressing was mastered by Kevin Gray 
and Steve Hoffman at Acoustic Mastering. So this is going to be one hell of a listening experience. I cannot wait to witness this album. And up next is another album in, that I'm going to be adding to my Van Halen collection. I'm still kind of growing that little by little, particularly the David Lee Roth years. Haven't really approached the, the Van Hagar stuff quite yet, but I'm still getting all the David Lee Roth stuff. This is... 1984. Uh, this was David Lee Roth's last album with the band before he left and he came back, did the whole reunion thing and whatever. Of course, this is notable for having um, Panama, Jump, Hot for Teacher. Uh, what else is on this album? There's a couple other tracks that aren't coming to mind. Um, I think I'll Wait is on this as well. This is just an absolutely fantastic record. This one's uh, mastered by Chris Bellman. All of the uh, Van Halen reissues are absolutely fantastic. It also comes in a nice printed inner sleeve with the artwork. Really great stuff. Cannot wait to listen to this. And uh, also, fun fact, uh, David Lee Roth is actually going to be opening for Kiss on the second leg of the um, End of the Row tour. And I'm going to see the show in Atlantic City, so uh, I cannot wait to see Diamond Dave and all his glory. Heard so much about him. It's going to be a great show, and I cannot wait to listen to this album. And this next one is really cool. My godmother got me this one. And uh, this is kind of just an interesting addition because, let's face it, my Rush collection is complete in terms of the official releases. So I'm kind of seeing what else is out there on the market. And uh, when I came across this show and gave it a listen, I was like, oh, absolutely, hell yeah. This is called Rush, live at Mecca Arena, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, June 25th, 1984. Uh, this was recorded during the Grace Under Pressure tour. This is a soundboard recording. I believe it's a radio broadcast. Um, interestingly enough, it's always listed as live in Milwaukee, but I believe it was recorded at the Capitol Center in Maryland. I might be wrong. Don't quote me completely on it, but I think that's what I've read on the internet and I saw on YouTube. But honestly... The sound quality of the show is absolutely fantastic. Nice gatefold sleeve, which has some photos of the band from this time. And we just have basic kind of white labels right there on standard black vinyl. Um, just an absolutely great sounding show, and it's a great addition to have in the Rush vinyl collection. And keeping up with the progressive rock live album sort of you know thing that we established with the Rush album is this recent reissue right here. Uh, this is House of Yes, live from the House of Blues. Uh, this is a live album that Yes put out in, this was back in 2000. And um, this kind of is from the sort of the latter period. So we get things like Lightning Strikes, Homeworld, The Ladder, uh, The Messenger, um, just great, great stuff. And it's a great set list too. It kind of dabbles in some of the 80s, 90125 stuff as well. Uh, and this is actually limited and numbered uh, out of 3,000 copies. Uh, the number is on the bottom. Uh, I have copy number 2,553. And it um, comes on standard black vinyl. Uh, but right off the bat, we do have uh, CDs of the show. And each record comes in a printed inner sleeve with artwork. And I'm just kind of going to take everything out just to kind of show you. On this one, we have artwork from the ladder. We have a handwritten set list, and then we also have nice pictures of the boys themselves. And uh, this is going to be an absolutely fun listen indeed. Um, I'm st still kind of getting my hands on some of the more recent um, Yes Live uh, releases. So this is absolutely going to be a wonderful listen. House of Yes Live from the House of Blues. And up next, we have some more progressive rock live goodness. Uh, this is... Emerson, Lake and Palmer, live in Switzerland, 1997. This was kind of towards the end of ELP's main sort of part of their career, back when they reunited in the early 90s. Uh, this is from the Montreux Jazz Festival. Uh, many artists have come and played this festival on a yearly basis. It's always recorded and filmed for broadcast. And uh, ELP was just one of those bands, and Eagle Vision decided... Not, well, not Eagle Vision, Eagle Records uh, decided to uh, put out their... Um, their performance from 97 and honestly this is a bit of a retrospective set list you know it starts off with carnival 9 first impression part 2 tiger in the spotlight Ho down you get touch and go from the emerson lake and powell project from the mid 80s um you also get some really cool deep cuts on here like you get uh bitches crystal 
um, Honky Tonk Train Blues, you know, it's all the traditional ELP stuff. Uh, comes in a nice gatefold, which has a nice write-up about the show, and there's also individual bits from the band members, which is quite cool. And I cannot wait to give it a spin and add it to the ELP uh, collection. And also, just to kind of throw this real quickly in, uh, my girlfriend's mom hooked me up with another Iron Maiden 7-inch. I'm slowly getting the 7-inches. Uh, they put out a whole bunch of the singles from the 1980 to 1988 time frame, and this is the one for the Clairvoyant from Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Uh, the B-side is The Prisoner from the Monsters of Rock uh, Donington show that they did around this time. Uh, an excellent 7-inch uh, to add to the Iron Maiden collection. And then we get into some... If I can get this out, here we go. Phil Collins, But Seriously. This was his album back in 1989. Um, a bunch of classics on here. Um, Phil Collins really never disappoints when it comes to his solo stuff. You get Another Day in Paradise, All of My Life, which is a fantastic song. I Wish It Would Rain Now. I mean, it's all great, great stuff. As you can see, they uh, updated the covers of all the Phil Collins stuff. Uh, they're all mastered at half speed at Abbey Road. They just sound fantastic. Prints and inner sleeves here with the handwritten lyrics, and we have some new liner notes from Phil. And we also have some photos taken from the making of the album, which is quite nice indeed. And up next is a little bit of a, could you say a local band based out of where I am in South Jersey. These guys were kind of from Philly. And um, I remember I my dad had a home uh, video of this band in this particular album cycle with various music videos. And I used to watch it a lot as a kid and I really liked it. And my dad was like, yo, you should absolutely get this album and add it to your wish list and add it to your collection. And uh, let's just say they made it happen. And that is Cinderella Night Songs. Great, you know, 80s sort of hair metal from the, which was uh, 1986. This is right in the mid 80s. Uh, there's some great songs on this record. Uh, Night Songs, Shake Me, Nobody's Fool. Um, there's a uh, Push Push is on here. Um, Back Home Again. Um, the, the home video, there's like a cameo uh, of Bon Jovi because apparently he was involved with their signing. And so I'm really excited to listen to this for the first time. And I think since I was a kid, I haven't listened to this album in a long time, but I'm willing to rekindle uh, my love for this band and this album. And up next is another artist that I actually don't have any records of. And I was coming home from a show that I had worked for the Genesis show. We were up in North Tarawanda, New York. And uh, we listened to this album on the ride home. And granted, I've, I've always liked this band, but it was the same case as Fleetwood Mac. I always knew the hits. And um, my dad is a huge, huge fan of this particular record. And he thought it was an absolute must-have for the collection. And that is The Police Synchronicity. Of course, great trio with Andy Summers, Sting, and Stuart Copeland. Uh, fantastic songs on here. There's... Um, Wrapped Around Your Finger, King of Pain, Every Breath You Take, of course, Synchronicity 2, uh, Tea in the Sahara, um, just an absolutely great 80s rock. It's just absolutely great stuff. Comes with a nice uh, printed inner sleeve. Here's the members of the band here. Here's the lyrics. And I'll just showcase the vinyl because I think the labels are quite cool. They have like a nice sort of color scheme going on there. Sorry about the, the ring light being shown, but there it is there. Looks absolutely great. And this is another half-speed uh, cut as well, so I'm sure this is going to be an absolutely great, great listen. And now we're kind of reaching the tail end, and I'm not going to go too into detail with these uh, particular releases because I'm actually going to be uh, talking about these records in future videos that are going to come uh, on this channel. So I'm just going to briefly show them. Um, my parents decided to go as far as to get me some bootlegs, uh, for this Christmas. And there's going to be a whole bunch of bootleg videos coming your way in the new year. Um, and they decided just to, um, take a look at my want list from rollingrecords.com and, uh, hook me up with some great bootlegs. So I'm just going to briefly show them. We have the Beatles, uh, live at the Philadelphia Convention Hall back in September 1964. And... 
Pink Floyd's Animals in Berlin. And like I said, I'll go into more detail about these when I do my upcoming bootleg videos, but until then, you at least saw them first here. And now we reach the grand finale. And I hadn't just suggested this particular release on my Christmas list, but I knew exactly what the price tag was, and I just told them, let this not be a priority. If it, if you could, great. If not, I no big deal. Because honestly, this thing is rather expensive, and I think it's just by name alone. And I'm actually going to be doing a video just on this particular release. And uh, let's just say it made this Christmas rather damn special. You guys ready? Drum roll. The Beatles, the singles collection. All UK Beatles singles housed in a box, all right here. Master from the tapes and everything, fantastic. And like I said, I will be doing a separate video on this coming up very soon on the channel. So there you guys go. That is my vinyl haul of all of my Christmas 2019 vinyl acquisitions. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly, keep the records spinning.